The Indonesian Aerospace N-219 is a utility aircraft designed by Indonesian Aerospace. Topic Development In 2003, after the IPTN N-250 program halt, Indonesian Aerospace EI wanted to develop a 19-seat aircraft to offset the IPTN NC-212 end of production. In early 2004, EI was discussing with Malaysian aerospace companies and was estimating the N219 development at $60-80 million to fly a prototype in April 2006 and certify it in August 2007. In 2006, the $65 million funding for the 19-seat N219 development was proposed under the Qatar Indonesia Indonesia Joint Investment Fund, funded by Qatar for 70% and by Indonesia for 30%, for a prototype within two years. In June 2011, its price was forecast to be $4 million each and it was expected to fly in 2014. The industry minister requested RP 59 billion to build the prototype. In January 2012, the predicted development budget was about $30 million for 15 aircraft. In August 2013, Lion Air was to sign a Memorandum of Understanding for $104.50 minus 5 million N219s. The total market for the N219 was forecast as 97 civil and 57 military aircraft. In August 2014, the forecast price rose to $5 million. The first metal was cut in September 2014, before a planned rollout in August 2015 and certification in 2016, before ASA certification with Airbus support for export. First deliveries were scheduled for 2017. On 13 April 2015, three memoranda of understanding were signed, with Nusantara Buana Air for 20 aircraft and 10 options, with Aviasta Mandiri for 20 aircraft and 10 options and with Tragana Air Service for 10 aircraft and 5 options. The rollout was then scheduled in November 2015. It was then waiting for the President Jokowi. In August 2016, Airbus was to help for certification. The prototype was then entering testing after the November 2015 public introduction. The first prototype construction was planned to be completed in mid 2016 for a maiden flight at the end of 2016, but this first flight was delayed to March 2017 for certification in the same year and production start in 2018. In February, it was delayed again to April, after a series of high-speed taxiing runs on of August 2017 at Hussein Sastranegara International Airport in Bandung, it took off from there on 16 August 2017 shortly after 9 am before returning at its origin after 26 minutes. It is the eve of the 72nd anniversary of the proclamation of Indonesian independence. Indonesia has signed deals with China and Mexico to export N-219 to those countries. Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand and Myanmar are also interested in the aircraft. Turkish Aerospace Industries could produce the N219 to market it in Africa. 
at least RP200 billion is needed to complete 200 hours of flight tests for certification from the Indonesian Transport Ministry before it can be sold. By October 2018, domestic airline Avistar signed a memorandum of understanding for 20 more while the N219 had 120 orders and was due to be certified in April or May 2019. Other customers include Lion Air, Tragana Air Service, Nusantara Buana Air, Palita Air, Airborne and the Government of Thailand. Production could begin with six aircraft in 2019, increasing to 16 in 2020 towards 36 per year in a new $90–100 million facility raised through equity participation, private-public partnerships, manufacturing subsidiaries, and joint ventures. Design. The N219 is twin-engine, 19-seater transport aircraft designed for multipurpose missions in remote areas. It is intended to operate in and out of remote, semi-prepared airstrips, suitable to conditions in Indonesia's archipelago. It was developed from the CASA C-212 Aviorca and, like that design, is also of all-metal construction. It is claimed that it will have the largest cabin volume in its class 6.50 by 1.82 by 1.70 meters. A flexible door system to allow a multi-purpose missions for transporting passengers and cargo. The aircraft is designed to comply with FAR 23 commuter category aircraft. Priced at $5.80 minus 6 million, slightly lower than the Viking DHC-6 Twin Otter, the 190 knots 350 km per hour cruise aircraft is intended for cargo and passenger transport, troop transport, military surveillance, search and rescue, and medevac operations, with a possible amphibian version later. Materials are domestically produced for 60% and local suppliers produce landing gear parts, rubber components and tooling. Topic specifications data from manufacturer general characteristics crew 2 capacity 19 passengers length 16.49 meters 54 feet 1 in wingspan 19.5 meters 64 feet 0 in height 6.18 meters 20 feet 3 in empty weight 4309 kilograms 9500 pounds max takeoff weight 7030 kilograms 15498 pounds fuel capacity 1600 kilograms power plant 2 times Pratt and Whitney Canada PT6 A42 turboprop engines 630 kilowatts 850 shp each propellers four bladed Hartzell propeller performance maximum speed 389 kilometers per hour 242 miles per hour 210 knots cruise speed 315 kilometers per hour 196 miles per hour 170 knots economical stall speed 109 kilometers per hour 68 miles per hour 59 knots range 889 kilometers 552 miles 480 nmi with 19 packs ferry range 1533 Km, 953 miles 828 nmi service ceiling 3000 meters 10000 feet operating altitude max altitude 24000 feet 7315 meters rate of climb 9 85 meters per second 1938 feet per minute Topic. See also 
Related development CASA C-212 Aviorca aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era DHC-6400 Twin Otter Dornier Du-228 NG Harbin Y-12F Cessna 408 Skycourier Let L-410 NG PZLM-28 Skytruck <laughs>